Rest in peace, Michael Hill. All right, this is Tony Bear at Venice Beach, um, Venice Owl. There's a few tents here and there on the sand, but overall it's clear. The last night, LA Sanitation, along with LAPD and um, Hazmat team, uh, at the precinct at the substation, you had LAPD and the Hazmat team, but LA Sanitation did not ship last night because they're waiting for them. So it'll probably be tonight. A lot of folks are coming back with the tents. Hey, hello there. It's a problem with the mentally ill though. They're still out here. I don't know what happened to Angel. I know she's in the hotel. They got her stuff. I got the receipt for her. But she's probably relaxing in the hotel. The man from New Jersey sent us 60 bucks for art supplies. And I have to give her that and the receipt for her stuff. But I am I am looking for Angel. I haven't seen her. But I do know that St. Joseph Center gave her a, a hotel key for I think it's six months. But I got really disturbed when they uh, took her stuff because she needs that to uh, to do her artwork. There's a few tents on the sand. That'll, about, that'll probably be tonight when they uh, remove them. I think they uh, lay in the sand at night. And they move the tents to the other side. I don't think there's going to be a problem. But devastating. You get to know these people, their names, and who they are. And uh, it's, just, uh, it's it's very disturbing for me. Going back to Italy, uh, X, uh, probably Thursday, but I'll still be doing Venice. I have the police scanner, so I'll be working at LAX normally again to make some money, and then working Venice not to make any money. So it's all good. Hey, what's up, Papa? It's all good. How was the stream coming out, people? Hey, thank you, Anthony. It's something I had to do because a lot of folks don't realize that anyone can be homeless on any given day. If you saw the woman in my video, she was cursing and yelling at people, uh, chasing folks with a stick. She was arrested this morning. I think they took her as 5150, uh, dangerous to others and dangerous to herself. Uh, I think that happened at 8.30, I was sleeping. You gotta rest sometime. They took her in. But as you can see, it's clear, no tents. Only a few in the sand, I count maybe a lot of homes are using umbrellas now because it's legal to have an umbrella. So I count maybe 15 uh, umbrellas and tents. And at night, there's more. So we're going to see what's going on tonight at 2 o'clock. We're going to be working out for another few days. All right, thank, thanks, Pop Brother. This is the hill that the late Michael Hill was murdered at. May he rest in peace. And from, from what I hear, he's a good man. Yeah, this is uh, this this is a weird uh, the reception here is kind of strange. It comes and goes. They don't have any. I think they don't really have any control of any uh, cell phone tower. This is the Cadillac Motel where a lot of the homeless are staying. And. Uh, Right here. Yeah, the stream from here to sunset is not that good. Uh, when you walk, especially if you walk like towards here, the stream is really messed up. So yeah, man.
Michael Hill was a person that was uh, he, he was living on in his van, and he found out they were giving out housing, so they he came to this hill, and uh, allegedly a guy was fighting over a girl and uh, murdered him. Murdered him. You can put Michael Hill Venice and see the video, but the guy actually uh, killed him right over here. So may you rest in peace, Michael Hill. I know your mother's watching, and um, to, to Michael Hill's mother, take it one day at a time. I know there's no words that can comfort you at this point. Uh, a lot of them went to uh, hotels, but you had to be on the list. You had to be out here in the beginning when they were giving out uh, hotel keys. Uh, a lot of them, they went to Third Street, a lot of them went downtown, and a lot of them are still here. Just because the tents are gone doesn't mean they're gone. There's been hippies out here since the 60s. But the whole thing is sad. The whole thing, I mean, this story to me is heartbreaking. Uh, just the idea that you got to feel for these people. Like I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm investing my time for the ones that want help. If you're mentally ill, you know, give these people help. If you're an alcoholic, you need to get help. If you're a drug addict, you need to get help. But a lot, a lot of good people want help. And those are the ones I'm backing. I'm not backing the ones that are robbing people. I'm not backing the ones that are uh, doing meth, selling meth. I'm backing the ones that want help. And a lot of folks out here do want help. And anyone can be homeless, man. You, can, you, uh, you have nothing going on. How you doing there? So this story has basically mentally drained me. When you meet all these people, these the different characters out here, it's just, uh, I think the uh, yesterday was heartbreaking, especially when they took Angel's uh, stuff, man. It was just like, wow, man. Hey everybody, hey, good afternoon, and welcome. Just so you guys know, I'm not leaving Venice. I am going back to LAX next week. I basically put in eight hours during the day, but I will always be doing spot checks on the tents on this when I get a phone call. I, I, I gotta get back to work. I, I think I took off six weeks from LAX. Not, that's a big pay cut for me. But this is—I felt like I was called for God to do this work. And uh, it's just heartbreaking. But as you can see, the, the tents are cleared. There's some, there's some umbrellas out there that they're using. They're using because uh, you're allowed to have umbrellas, but you can't have a tent. Oh yeah, he's making money. He's been here for years, this guy. And he actually uh, finds he finds gold coins, gold watches, money, whatever. Uh, I mean, he's an old guy. It's good to be active. That's how the Japanese survive. They, they're still in the right fields. They're 100 years old, but they're still working. The, the day I can't work anymore, I say take me, man. I don't want to be around because uh, I need to be doing things. I saw the owl last night again. He was uh, flying around and he landed on the boardwalk. He's, a, he's amazing, he's a white owl. He's not really scared of people. And uh, I think I, I saw him the other night. I think he told me, uh, he, he said, whoo. And I think he was telling me, dude, I'm the original owl. You call yourself the Venice owl. You know, I am the original Venice owl. I think he was telling me that. It's like, you're not an owl, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's cute, very cute. A good trademark type of thing. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, what's that? Len Goldman. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. 
Uh, at times they did, at times, but it was more like uh, they knew the cameras, the cameras were here, so they basically tried to uh, use as much force as possible. That was a homeless guy. They got, they actually caught him on. He went back to third and Rose. He was a court. But uh, from, my, from what I hear, he was a bully. He was, he would always attack people. Oh yeah, but, uh, it's uh, actually Tony Bear. Venice Owl, because if I put this uh, Venice Owl and they Google it, nothing, nothing's gonna come up because I'm new. I'm new, so Tony Vera will always be my name. But Venice Owl, I like it because the owl, he's always looking for stuff. Yeah, I want to keep it because the owl kind of reminds me of myself. He's always trying to find something to eat, and I'm always trying to find a story. And uh, I just like how the owl operates. Somebody said, "Oh, you know, you're not an owl." I know I'm not an owl. You call, we all know Batman is not a real Batman. We all know the, uh, Superman is not a Superman. You know, come on, this is a logo. Seattle Jody in the house, hello. But this story has been draining, man, from the beginning. Uh, I actually got uh, four corner trucks, there's murders, uh, there was overdoses, you name it, and this story had it. It was a long going story. It's not over yet, the story, but it's, it's basically, I guess, coming to an end. But it's just uh, sad, the whole thing. Thank you, Greg. I really appreciate that, man. It's funny. People will say, you're making money. I'm not really, I'm not making any money. Yes, there's ads on the, there's ads, but I'm not getting those kind of hits to make any money. I mean, I, uh, some of the videos get 10 or 6,000 hits, 5,000 hits, but even on a video that makes 20,000 hits, there's no money, you know. Thank you, Gloria. I appreciate it. You're making money on your videos. No, I'm not. <laughs> like I said, you gotta be like uh, German Adventist. He makes money on his videos. He gets like he gets like ninety thousand, eighty thousand hits. On that aspect, you make money. But you're not making any money with six thousand or five thousand or even twenty thousand hits on a video. If anything, you're making like maybe three or four dollars. So when folks say I'm making money on, on this thing, I'm not. I would do it all better if, if I went to LAX and worked. But this means a lot to me this whole homeless thing because I was almost homeless myself a while back. Somebody stepped in named Miss, uh, Mr. D and gave me, uh, got me an apartment, got me this, got me that. This it saved my ass because I, I actually ran out of money, man. So that's why I'm here. I want to help if I can. But it's just funny, man. People, oh, you're making money. You're making money. It's like making money on the on the hits that I get. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, uh, thank you, Earl. I mean, uh, at, at the airport, I, my videos are starting to go viral. I had one the last when I just started leaving the airport. That had 400,000 hits in like two weeks. So my videos on LAX are like really coming up. Um, so basically, I left at a bad time because I was actually, uh, my channel, LA uh, videos are starting to take off. But I felt like God, God called me for this thing. And then uh, meeting the, uh, the owl four times already, it was amazing. I always get, uh, you cut comments out. Yes, I do cut comments out. When you're saying build their tents in the ocean, burn their tents down, take them into the, the desert, I'm not going to have that on my channel, man. There's, there's so many hate channels that people can go to. We're going to get into some uh, plane spotting probably next week. A lot of folks are requesting the plane spotting.
Yeah, Lynn is amazing. That, that is Lynn. Let me see if that's Lynn. God, if you get old, man, your eyes just go. All right, let me see if I can try to find out what that says. Ouch. Yes, Len is a new moderator. She's been with me and she's actually an amazing person. But it's really good. I got to I got to go to bed yesterday in the afternoon and the, and the cats are great. Uh, they had a Daniel Boone marathon. I'm not sure if you guys know what Daniel Boone is. This is a TV show back in the 60s. They had a marathon on, so I got to watch that with the cats laying by me. And uh, it was really, really peaceful. But if you just tuned in, you can see the boardwalk. A lot of the tents are gone. And a lot of ho uh, homeless are housed here at the Cadillac Motel for six months. And uh, St. Joseph Center will try to find them a permanent home. We'll see what happens with that. But, but, <laughs> well, I'm 63, so it's getting there. I'm starting to realize uh, I'm not a youngster. But uh, as you see, all the tents are completely gone off the boardwalk. And there are some, oh, thank you, thank you. There are some tents that are uh, in the sand, but a lot of them are using. Are using um, umbrellas, which is legal. This was the main area. This is uh, basically a, a hill that was uh, basically drug infested with, the, I think, uh, meth. That's what I hear. Completely cleared. Uh, I'm, I'm always going to call it the Michael Hill um, resting place because he was actually married right here. So in my mind, Michael Hill will always be remembered here. Yeah, yeah, but he wasn't seen at LAX. He was seen two miles from LAX. You know, because uh, a distance. People always think, oh, he's at LAX. He wasn't at LAX. He was, uh, uh, a pilot saw him about two miles from LAX. I remember when I, when I watched Lost in Space, they had the jetpack. And that was only a fantasy, now it's a reality. Lost in Space was a great uh, TV show. Oh yeah, it's really beautiful. It's clean. But I want to thank all the new subscribers that came in, that's been coming in and following the story. It's been really uh, heartbreaking. Um, a lot of folks are saying, "Well, let's see." But, And um, thank you. I made the altercation with German in Venice. It was my fault because I basically I was just like uh, the original guy here, and then he was getting all the attention. So I guess I freaked out. It was jealousy and insecurity. So I actually apologized to the guy because he didn't do anything. He was, just, you know, he got lucky. He got a few videos off that went viral. And uh, my stupid jealousy, insecurity. That's why I had to apologize to the guy. Because I don't like drama, man. And I was putting I was putting out too many negative drama crap. So it's good to be friends with you. It's, it's good to like, if you got something that's bugging you, get it out and then move on with your life. Because I know, uh, I know German and Venice for over 30 years. You know. <laughs> That's okay being late. I'm a little late myself. But the woman in the video yesterday was pulling her pants down and 
chasing folks down the boardwalk with a metal object, was arrested this morning and taken in as a 5150, a danger to herself and a danger to others. And maybe they'll give her some medication because she was really going off yesterday and last night. And she was arrested this morning. And hopefully they can give her her medication. I don't know where Angel's at. She texted me last time she texted me. She was being uh, St. Joseph's considered, be considered, because we did a video for, saying shame on you, because she was actually staying in this hotel, Angel, the Cadillac. And they saw this video of her and they threw her out. So they came to me after the video explaining to me why they threw her out. I said, well, I, I've seen that video. But when you're young and, and cute, you gotta be tough to be hanging in the streets because a lot of folks, a lot of women get raped out here and put on drugs. So Angel's a tough cookie. What, what I don't like is I got a, I got a few tech, a few comments. Oh, you have, you're trying to get in her pants. Believe me, I'm not trying to get in her pants. You know, I am uh, too old for her. My girlfriend died of COVID-19. She worked at LAX uh, for major airlines and Tom Bradley. She had other issues, but she, the COVID-19 took her. And I was supposed to marry her, man. And uh, it was sad. Everything, everything is not about sex, man. Her mother watches my channel, so I don't. Her mother, her mother knows she's out here, but uh, Angel's all, she's free spirit. She does her own thing. I still gotta give her sixty bucks. I still gotta give her. I still gotta give her sixty bucks because the guy from New Jersey that gave her 350 bucks, sends 60 bucks over for her. She needed art supplies. But the other night, the city, uh, they took all her stuff. But there's a lot of mentally ill still out here, man. They're gonna have to address that problem down the line because uh, right away because Reagan is the one that cut, uh, cut off the uh, facilities. The states were supposed to pick it up, but they never did. So the mentally ill have nowhere to go. I remember when I was like, 11, Gerardo Rivera out of New York, that uh, he works at Fox News, Gerardo Rivera. And I was doing magic back then, so we all got in the bus and went to Willowbrook in New Jersey, and where all the mentally ill were being not taken care of, laying in their own feces. We all went there, and they closed it down. It was really disgusting the way they were treating me. I was only like 12 years old, 11 years old. But I went there, I'll never forget, with, with Gerardo Rivera, man. And that was the start of, of uh, a lot of the uh, places getting uh, closed down. So you gotta, you, the key is you gotta get good staff members that care what they're doing. That's the key, because if you get the staff members that don't care, they're, gonna, they're not gonna change their diapers or whatever, man, so. So if you just tuned in, look at, look and see, it's all clear. No tents on the boardwalk whatsoever. 3150 Reagan. Yeah, that's right. Reagan, man. But then again, uh, the states were supposed to pick it up, so you can't lay it all on Reagan because the states were supposed to pick it up, and they didn't. The criminal, uh, the, uh, see, mentally ill for the criminally, the criminal mentally ill, there's places for them. Those places are still open. The ones who kill and chop people up, those places are still open. Oh yeah, the Lord that passed. That's just gonna give the cops an extra tool, you know, to uh, arrest the homeless people. Got out of hand when they, I guess they, they stay in place. They got out of hand, I, I admit. This is where they actually shot white man can't jump. A lot of folks think it was a, uh, on the one by uh, Muscle Beach, but no, this is the one area where they shot. They made it a basketball court. The white man can't jump. Hello there, my friend. Thanks a lot. It's, it's been a, it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey, man. Upsetting as it might be. 
But uh, it's been a long journey. But don't get me wrong, I'm not. I live in Venice, but I'm not leaving. In, I'm not leaving this Venice story because I realized I, I worked out here for years doing stories. I'm not going to quit the beach. I'm going to be going back to LAX yes to make some money and try to get some good stories because I do miss LAX, but I'll still be doing Venice. So I'm going to have the scan on when I get home. And I'll check the boardwalk at night you know, like I always do. So I'm not leaving you know, the story. I'm gonna always want to stay on top of it. No, I'm not doing Skid Row. I, I have too much on my plate as it is. I, I got to do Venice and LAX. I'm not. I'm not. Skid Row is Skid Row is covered by other uh, uh, journalists down there, uh, freelance journalists. So you know, I don't drive. You know, so basically, I, I got to stay in my area. I'll be doing LAX and Venice, but I can't just keep table off the two of Skid Row. That, that's, that's being taken care of by a lot of other activists. But uh, I just can't do too much. I do need my rest and my sleep. And my two kitties depend on me. Well, they're in the, they moved the Dirt and Rose, uh, the library in Venice. They moved into the streets, actually. You know, like two, three blocks from here. Uh, there are a lot of homeless right now walking around, but yeah, they actually moved inner city. But there are a lot of 5150s out here, a lot of people that, that are mentally ill still stuck out here because there's nowhere to put them. So that's a sad thing. Yeah, a lot of movies are made uh, here in Venice. But I actually feel like, I actually feel like my job. Hey, hello everybody. Hey, Jersey. I actually feel like my job is done, but it's not done. There's still more to do. But I kind of feel like it's just like yesterday was a very, very, very sad day for me, man. It's like all these people are gone, man. And I'm, I'm talking about the good people. I'm not talking about the ones that are selling drugs, the, one, the ones that are robbing uh, neighbors around. I'm talking about the ones that want to get off the beach. A lot of folks are in, in vans right now. I know people that, that work at LAX that have good jobs, that are sleeping in their vans because they can't afford the rents. I know a lot of people like that. They realized that a lot of homeless folks do have animals, pets, so she was able to take her pets to the hotel with her. Thank God for that. But I like doing my live stuff. I enjoy it. Yeah, that's still <laughs> By the library the other day to do some the library is open again and they they sleep there at night and they clear the stuff out during the day so they have an understanding with the library there oh, the t-shirts i'm working on that i gotta figure out there's a gentleman online that he did the design for free he doesn't want any money but i'm gonna have to pay for all the merchandise so i gotta figure out how much it's gonna cost to get a shirt or a hat how much, how much is it going to cost to mail it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, I got to figure all that out. You just don't get t-shirts and hats without, without that knowing that. You still want to hey, make it cheap so the people will buy it. But then you got you to make it where? How much will it cost to make each one? How much will it cost to mail it? So you got to consider all that. So I, I'm working on that. I want to thank the person, uh, Jimmy. He's a loyal subscriber. He actually designed all this stuff. He doesn't want any money for it. He designed it, doesn't want any money. He's a great guy. And I'm not trying to make a lot of money from the, uh, the, the merchandise. So we're working on how we're gonna do it. He has places where I can get them done. Uh, the reason why I named myself the Venice Isle because the Venice Isle reminds of me. He's always looking for stuff at night and I'm always looking for stories. 
So I just thought the Venice Isle would be a good trademark for Tony Vera. Actually seen the Venice Isle last night. Seen him last night. I saw him the other day on the bike path. And I, I, he, he said, woo, to me. And I was like, I think he was saying, Mr. Dude, I'm the original Venice Isle. All day you can steal my name, you know? <laughs> Are you the dude that's stealing my name? But yeah, it really does, man. It really does. Thank you. The Venice Isle is amazing. So I'm. Tony Vera will be in a small lettering because uh, I can't take away Tony Vera because if you type Tony Vera in, the, the, the search engine just comes up, my, comes up with all my stuff. But if you, if you just type in uh, Venice Isle, I'm new, so it nothing comes up. So it's going to be Tony Vera in small lettering and then uh, Venice Isle. My subscriber made that point to me. He, he was right. So I got I to keep Tony Bear in there. Yeah, it's over now. The motel is over, man. It's, thank God I was able to pay my rent, man. Because uh, the landlord is going to be coming after people, man. Malibu's right there. I'm actually using the old phone for this live stream. I have two phones. I have the Samsung Ultra S21. No, uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 uh, Ultra. This is a great phone. I put my stuff out really fast. Yeah, the key is uh, to be able to put your stuff out uh, quick. I have a good, good editing app, and I'm able to put out put out stuff. You know, people say, "Why don't I edit my stuff?" Because I I try to keep each clip in there you know, and try to show you what, what the deal is, deal is. I know my shit's long, but I shoot documentary style. That's how I shoot. Uh, Germany and Venice asked me, "Why don't you edit your stuff?" I said, "Because I don't want to edit my stuff. Because I shoot documentary style." Uh, I'm not doing the LAX hat yet because I gotta work on the Venice Owl first. You know, one, one thing at a time. You know. I, I, gotta, I gotta work on that LAX uh, Venice Owl. Maybe combine them somehow. It's a it's a work in progress. But I gotta figure out how much it's gonna cost to get this thing done. How much how much can I charge for them? How much would it cost to uh, ship them? You know what I mean? There's a, a lot of stuff involved back there. So I gotta figure all that out. And I wanna Jimmy, the one that uh, actually came up with the idea. He's been sending me uh, samples. He's not charging me any money, uh, but uh, he knows a lot of folks that can do it as far as uh, produce them. But I gotta figure out what the, what the cost is gonna be on that. So it's work in progress. You guys will be the first to know. Wow, I have not been back to LAX in about six weeks, man. It feels weird, man. Will I, I mean, will I be the same person going back to LAX after what I've seen? I've seen uh, overdoses, I've seen murder, I've seen sadness, I've seen happiness in the six weeks. I've seen it all, man. And I'm not the same person I was coming into the story, that's for sure. Not, is that nacho? It looks like nacho. I don't think that's nacho. Look, that's not nacho. I thought that was nacho. That is not nacho. It's another lady. Okay. That's a good idea. Just got to figure out what I'm going to do. That sounds like a good idea. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you guys for all the, the, the love. You know, I like when you guys come into the song. It's kind of neat. Uh, thank you for all the... Uh... Yeah, it, it, was, it was like a, a mini documentary. I mean, a mini TV series. This whole uh, road. And a lot of folks were 
that watch my stuff, uh, the entity long videos, because they're documentary style. So we have that audience. I tell the folks that do want the short videos, they need to find another, another channel. Because I'm not going to change my style for nobody. No, I'm not doing, I'm not doing, I can't uh, extend myself too much. I'm taking on uh, Venice again and LAX. It's, that's a lot of work, man. You know, that's, to, to start the brand shot, I'm not a young man anymore. I, I got to stay in my zone, man. So it's, it's only going to be LAX and Venice. Uh, once in a while, I, I will go to a store if it's really huge. But I'm not going to uh, really go out there too much as far as myself out too much. Everything you can possess, we have to fight and take it. I think the president is smoking Okay. So we'll probably be, we'll probably do one or two uh, live streams a week, and um, all the new subscribers that have come in, thank you for coming in and watching. Uh, because the idea is to get the story out. I do know a lot of cops, politicians watch my channel, so that's a, that's a good thing. But the videos of LAX have really started to get hits. So they're getting they're, a lot of my stuff. Is, a lot of my videos of LAX are going viral, man. And uh, so I got to get back because uh, over there you got celebrities. You know, they're coming back to LAX. So I got to make a living. So that's where I'm going back to make my living at LAX. But my true soul will be Venice. So to me, this is Michael Hill. Hill. He was murdered right here. You can see the video. If you put in Michael Hill, Venice Beach, several of my videos will come up, including the memorial with his mother. She was up here. Uh, the coroner. Actually, the, the the best channel, if you want to see about the homeless again, would be Invisible People. That is the best channel. He has over close to a million subscribers. His name is, uh, he's an amazing man, Mark. From invisible people check out his uh, channel folks he, get, he gives a high depth of interviews he goes all around the world but he, he's recently moved back to venice and uh because he actually get, sent me an email that he was on rose avenue and it was a big honor meeting him i was so starstruck because i do i shoot a lot of celebrities but meeting him was incredible he actually actually he, he's, he's a great interviewer too because he lets the people talk so much respect to his invisible people Oh yeah, Gemini Venice too. He's a he's a great person to subscribe subscribe to. We had our issues. I mean, I had my issues with him. I was a jealous fool, uh, uh, low insecurity, and I was able to uh, apologize to him on camera and end that uh, end that. All right, we're approaching 40 minutes. I'm going to end the stream and tell you guys, thank you for coming in. Always stay positive. I, and I, I got I to practice what I preach, too. Try to stay positive and, uh, and just love myself and uh, let God do the rest of it. And uh, I'm gonna be, I have my police scanner going. I'm going to go home and take a nap. Something breaks out here. I'll be back really quick. But I'm going back. Look for the next video probably tonight around because after I, when I come out here at 2 in the morning I have to get up at 1 30 in the morning and it takes about I, I know I'm not really editing my stuff but it, put all the clips together and um, render it it takes about three hours people think it's like you, you, put, you just put a video up you don't <laughs> you gotta you gotta render this shit you gotta put it on YouTube you gotta put the titles in so when I, when I get home the work is just started 
But a lot of folks like my stuff. Thank you. A lot of folks like my uh, documentary style. A lot of folks don't like it. And I always tell the folks that don't like it, there's more channels out there that you can go to besides my channel. Simple as that. So you guys stay well. Be positive. This is the Venice Hour. Signing off. Until next time.